Hi children, welcome back. So in the today's video, we are going to learn about the next topic of the last previous videos. So in the last video, we have learned uh, in this chapter, we have learned the life cycle of the cockroach and the life cycle of the butterfly and the, how the life cycle will be, what are the steps will be there, how they are going to reproduce their young ones. This all we have learned. But in this uh, video, we will learn the next um, uh, thing or next animal that is the bird, the life cycle of the bird. The life cycle of the hen even I have uh, told in the last video but uh, in today's video also I am going to give you uh, the um, clear in, uh, information about the hen also. So the life cycle of the hen includes only three steps. In the first step, uh, adult hen is going to lay the eggs and after the um, laying the egg, uh, after the uh, hatching process, after sometimes the hatching process, some days hatching process, the chick will come out. Chick will come out and chick will be a very small hen and it will be keep growing, eating and it will be keep growing until it becomes again the adult hen. If once it becomes the adult hen, again it starts the same procedure that it lays the egg, then the hatching process takes place and even the ne next chicks are going to come out of the eggs. So this is what the life cycle of the hen. Then if we see the um, particular picture of the hen, so we can see in their um, egg, we can see, you know already, you have seen what is there inside the egg already, you have eaten, you have cooked and you have seen uh, about the egg. So egg, there will be a white color shell, the egg may be of any bird. Egg may be of any bird, uh, that may be of some birds or that may be of hen or that may be of uh, other lizard and the snake. Those all eggs will be a uh, white in color and they have a hard shell of the calcium. We know that whatever egg we eat from the hen, we uh, that that is of white color and the shell will be very hard. And if suppose if you break that shell, inside you can see first one coat and the larger coat will be inside the egg larger coat will be of white color very jelly type um, uh, liquid will be there and that liquid is going to uh, protect the baby inside the egg whichever the uh, baby will be there inside the egg that white jelly is going to protect that um, uh, baby inside the egg that acts as a, a jelly or the watery structure for the uh, organ, organ inside the or uh, the animal inside the egg and the yellow color after cooking you can eat you will enjoy anywhere even some of for some of you that may be the favorite part of the egg we all will eat the yellow color that yellow color is called as the yolk actually that yellow color is called as the yolk and that is the actual food for the baby inside how the babies inside the human stomach or some animal stomach whatever the mother will eat those all will be converted uh, into energy and those that is will be the food for the baby also inside the stomach but in the hen or in the egg what happens inside the egg there will be a small chick small baby will be there and this white color is going to give the protein and some amount of the food and which acts as a protective part of the baby and this yellow color is called as a yolk yolk this yolk is actual food for the baby or chick of the hen inside the egg till it grows till it comes out of the shell that uh, chick is going to eat or the, the chick is going to take the food from the egg in from the yolk Okay, there are two parts in the egg, in the chick egg, that is one is white jelly structure, even you know that, you have seen inside the egg, that white jelly structure is um, for the protein and the protection purpose and that for that one we call as the albumin, what we call as in science albumin, okay, and the yellow color is for the um, actual food of the chick and um, even that is going to give a lot of energy to the animal inside the egg and that is called as the yolk even we eat human beings eat the yellow part we get a lot of energy 
that acts as a b complex tablet for for the our body and if we eat the only white color if we prefer to eat only white color from the egg which gives us the lot of proteins okay which gives us the lot of proteins so like this even for the life inside the egg these two will act as a food for those animals this is what the brief introduction of about the egg of the hen even the same content will be there for the other animals also hard shells will be there other animals like which animals or birds lay the egg those all will get the same content from the egg the lizards will lay the egg and the frogs will lay the egg fish will lay the egg almost all type of the birds will lay the egg and the snakes will lay the egg and the turtle and the crocodile these all animals whichever the lays egg after laying the egg they will be up to some week the, they will heat those eggs that is known as the giving temperature to the eggs after once the temperature or the egg reaches the maturity level uh, the egg shells are going to break this breaking of this egg shells and coming out of uh, those small babies of the particular animal from the egg this process is called as the hatching process the same process takes place in the hen also this is what the egg contains one is uh, albumin that is white color jelly structure and another one is yolk that is yellow color structure inside the egg this is about uh, the um, uh, uh, life cycle of the hen or the uh, animals whichever lay the egg and then we have next the frogs we know that frogs we see in many places just around us even the frogs are also going to be lay the eggs we know that those frogs uh, will lay the eggs actually the frogs are going to lay the eggs uh, near by the water bodies when the water comes and hits those eggs those eggs are because uh, frogs are not at all going to give heat to the eggs whichever they have laid Uh, they they are going to lay the eggs around the border of the water body so that the water comes and strike those or hits those eggs once because of that force of the water the egg is going to break and the baby's baby or the baby of the frog is going to come out so about this we will discuss in the next uh, video uh, the life cycle of the egg and what happens exactly okay so i hope uh, you all are enjoying these videos and um, uh, you are learning it and concentrating on the videos and don't waste the time whatever is taught in the video you have to go for that one and you have to do the work so before ending this video i want to give you a small homework just you write about the yag and the uh, life cycle of the chick okay i hope you will do this homework in the next video we will continue about the frog bye